Hey, this is Picker Matt here. Uh, it's my second video tonight. I don't have much time to watch videos, make videos. I got all kinds of stuff going on. I run about 14 hours a day uh, work, and now I'm just chilling. But uh, anyway, let's start with. Uh, I just want to show you some things I'm gonna list, things I did list. Uh, this bayonet, I had a video of like stills. Uh, like a slideshow. This is the uh, Simon and Company Sewell World War One bayonet. You know, uh, me and my buddy got them for free. We got two of them, two bayonets. Well, this one, you know, my brother's into bayonets. I asked him. He said, oh, "I'll give you five dollars for it." I thought he was bullshit. Yeah, trying to get stuff for free, but. uh this one goes for like 20. I put it up for 40. Nobody bet. So I'm not selling it for 20. I could take this to a local auction or a flea market. The right person, you know, I could walk away with 60, 80, 100, you know, not to be dishonest or nothing, but, you know, everybody's got to get some money. <coughs> this one I had listed. This is a, this is a Fitchell and Sachs Schweinfurt. It's got a number on this side. Uh, I got spells of it. This one, uh, this one just has got the sheath or whatever the scabbard. This one sold for um, just last night or the other night. It got $137 on eBay, so that's all pure profit. But you know, I split it with my buddy 50/50. Um, he's an auctioneer, so I just went into the computer. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, this I had for a while. I pulled it out. I was thinking about selling it. It's a Nimrod pipe lighter. It's got the original tapers. It's pretty cool for a lighter. It looks like a like a screw or something. Nimrod. You pull this out, and uh, there's a little striker there. The Wix brand now. I don't know which way. Uh, I don't know. I don't even have a right to thing, but it's a Nimrod Sportsman. And uh I got that a yard sale for uh, like a buck or something. I think it's I think it's worth like twenty thirty. I don't know. I don't know. I got so much shit I can make videos from here to the fucking end of time. I'm kinda like an antique order if you want to call it that. This is badass. I got this. I actually got it's a Gerber belt buckle, Gerber Touche belt buckle knife. Uh, I bought this at a, up in Belafonte, PI. It's right near State College, and uh, it's brand new. This auction, had, it was an estate auction. It's got like a little beer dude on there, and uh, the knife comes out. You click it. Anyway, there's a freaking knife in there. There you go. Well, anyway, eBay. I had it listed on eBay, and I it got watchers. The first, the, the minute I listed, it, I had like ten watchers. I was like, "What?" Then somebody asked me if they could buy it offline, and I'm like, "No." And they said, "Well, you're going to get it removed from eBay." Well, here I got a violation from eBay for selling a banned item. When I go back and look, they got Gerber Touche belts listed in their salon. So I don't know if somebody just, whatever, whatever. So I told them I'm not selling it. Go screw yourself. I'll keep it. You know, I'll just throw it up in my other stuff. It's all money in the bank. All right, let's see. We got that knife. That knife here. This knife I just bought off the street. It's a AK-47 um, bayonet. It's a bayonet, but I'm keeping this one. I got the sheath. Uh, see, it's a pretty nice size knife. Uh, it's got the, uh, if you're on your AK, all the, uh, mounting hardware. And, uh, you know, you come to some strict combat, you just kick it on your boot. Uh, pretty badass. It's a, uh, switch bag. It's got some length to it. You know, that would do some damage. Uh, here's another one from the Belafonte cell. 
solids and something. It's got the little whale dude. It's in a little box. Open it up. It's another little hunting scene duck. It's got uh, same shit on both sides. Little duck dude. Flying in the air. Made in Germany, it says. Uh, <coughs> this is, uh, Gersh, Germany, whatever that is. Whatever, I don't know. I think I had it on eBay, nobody bought it. They bought my other knives, so I made a moon off the jack of knives. Here's another one. I sold, I got two of these. So it's got the little deer dude on there. You open it up, it says, oh wait, it's got a, Flintlock rifle on that side. You open it up. It says flintlock on there. It's got some nice length and uh, believe me, they're sharp. I jacked one of my fingers up. But, uh, it's made by Baylor, Miami. And uh, I sold one of these for $24.99. I still got another one. They're older. It was, it was a knife collection. And nobody showed up. It was snow. It was like the first snow of the year in the state college. Uh, Belfonte, whatever, it was a true blue auction, and I was actually a runner there that day, so, uh, I stepped aside and just bid the shit out of these knives, because, uh, I ain't gonna let that shit slip, I don't care if I'm working or not. Uh, I got this one there too, the Mason. It's got a Mason knife. Uh, I got that for like four dollars. Nobody showed up. Uh, I got a bunch of other knives, I sold them, here's one that's left, a little bar low. Junk. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, these I found in a book. I was going to throw them in as a box lot, but just keep your eyes open. These little weekly readers. This one's from 1950. Look, it's new kind of cans. It was the aerosol cans. What year is that from? Uh, May 22nd, 1950. Uh, here's, here's, well, there's a couple more of them. I don't know where I put them. But anyway, these weekly readers, this one's Gateway for Girls, April 1st, 1950, huh, April Fool's Day. But anyway, the weekly readers, I got more of them, I got a whole stock there, were in a book, I was going to just lot them out, the whole, everything. And then I looked, and they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty expensive, them old weekly readers, I remember them when I was a kid. I heard some, um, what do I do with that? Damn. I got, uh. This thing here, this is pretty cool. This is a, uh, if you're into like, you know, if you live in, uh, what's it, Colorado or, uh, uh, it's Washington, if you're into pot smoke and these, uh, this is old school too. It's called the slider. And what you do is you screw that like on your pipe and you load up the chambers and it's like a clip for, uh, for your pot smoking token and all that good shit. Uh, I got a, and here's a cool watch, man. I got these for a quarter piece. It's Lucerne. Red. Here's this old, uh, Oliva Electric. Doesn't have a band, but it's one of the ones you shake and it keeps ticking. It's probably better than some crap ass watch. You gotta put batteries in it. But, uh, yeah, I had a, one of them things that you go, shh, the whipped, uh, the whipped cream crackers. I forgot a bunch of them. Oh, here, here's one. A whole bunch of these, man. When's the last time you saw one of them? You know, for your whipped cream, you put a balloon on there like you're at a dead concert or a Eagles game or something. I, I did one of them once I almost passed out and I thought I was dying. I mean, here's something I got. This in the box. This camera. An old school um, super shooter. Uh, I I'd run out of time. I think I got ten minutes. These I got in the box too. These, uh, these I got for free. I was prepping a house for a for a real estate sale in their um, first day issue books. I got all these little stamps and shit. I don't know. But uh yeah, I'm gonna sell all that stuff. So uh keep an eye on my eBay, uh the new eBay, not my old one. My old one just is power cell and all that shit, but I banned it.